Hello everyone, my name is Kasia Avery and I would like to introduce you to Care December 2021. I've been doing our journaling for over 10 years now and it plays a really important part in my life and self-care practice. So stay with me as I will be sharing quite a few tips on how to establish a healthy or journaling routine. Care December is 20 days of daily mindful or journaling. Mindful is an important bit because we're focusing on being in the moment and turning this into our uh, self-care practice that's beneficial for our hearts, souls, bodies and minds and people around us as well. I'm really hoping that you're going to join me and follow my videos from every day. Every day I will be sharing a a prompt, self-care prompt, and then we'll translate this prompt into an original spread. I will share my process with you. I hope that's gonna, that's gonna provide you with some inspiration. This will be the fourth year of this offering. It used to be called Kasha's Advent Calendar, but this year we're changing its name to Care December, and this allows us to have a more holistic approach to our journaling and focus on self-care, really, and caring about other things and relationships in our life. During K December, we will be doing some daily art journaling. So doing an art journaling spread or a page every day. So maybe it sounds like you're thinking, am I going to be able to do that? Do I have enough time to do that, right? So I want to tell you straight away, yes. <laughs> yes, you will be able to do that. Even if you have a very busy lifetime, um, we are going to make it work, okay? Just stay with me, listen to what I'm going to say to you in the next few minutes, and we will make it work. First, let's focus on choosing the right book to work in. Now, this book cannot be too big. The bigger the book, the more overwhelming it may feel. The, blank, the fear of the blank page might be a little bit too noisy in your head. And also, it's faster to complete a page or a spread that's relatively small. So, for daily art and on Care December, I like to work in a book that's either a junk journal, so made out of leaflets and all sorts of random papers, or in a ready-made book that you can buy at your stationery shop or, you know, online, that's not too expensive, doesn't have to have great quality paper. So do not go for the posh covers, thick paper, amazing binding. That's not for this offering. We want something that you won't feel too precious about, okay? So I have some examples here. These are some of my favorite art journals uh, that I had in the past. You see the, the band ripped on this one because it's not great. It was only like uh, three pounds, I think. So uh, go for something like this and I promise you, it's gonna feel so good because you won't be scared or it's not gonna feel daunting, you know, to fill it in with some very scribbly loose marks because intuitive or journaling that we're gonna be doing here and in general is not about pretty, but I'll get back to that. <laughs> uh, here are some of my journals from previous years of um, Care December. Like I said, they are junk journals, right? So I simply get covers of an old book or like children's book, um, rip the pages out, um, save the pages for collage pieces and stuff. Uh, and then cover the book with some fabric, the, I mean the covers, cover the covers <laughs> with some fabric or papers and then prepare my papers to work in. So I would just take a sheet of paper, do I have one here? Yeah, take a sheet of paper, obviously that's sort of the right size, smaller and bigger, it's nice to have, a, uh, have some randomness there and fold it in half yeah, and then put them all together, put them all together, one signature, and put a piece of string through it, string or a ribbon going around the spine, tie a knot, and that's it, and it will hold it together. And it will also mean that, holds it together, see? <laughs> and it will also mean that you can add pages to it, you can take pages out. 
um, and it's easy and it's fast and that's what we want when we're preparing for daily or journaling easy fast not too much effort so there aren't too many opportunities to um, to give up right we want to push forward push forward so make yourself or get yourself if you don't have time to make a book that you won't be too precious about that's important let it be small let it be cheap as you will be preparing for care december and gathering your materials and supplies i really encourage you to have a smallish kit uh, of supplies that you keep on your desk that's always available just choose a few supplies that you feel really comfortable with um, and then you can always add to it or just not use some things but don't make it too big when it comes to daily or journaling we need to make it simple and we need to make it easy so there aren't too many decisions to make on daily basis and you can just sit down grab that supply and start working immediately okay so um, make sure you choose a kit and you have it there ready and prepared and i would always always encourage you to also create a little color palette uh, for and put it on the first page maybe of your art journal i always love to do that set a color palette for a certain book uh, and then only have supplies in those colors right and once again that takes away the pressure of making the decision of choosing colors every day you already know what colors you're going to be working with and it makes the whole book coherent. You can always add to it. Don't get stressed about it. You can always add to it, but it's a good starting point. On Care December, every day you will receive a video from me. Like I already mentioned, it's going to be a prompt. So I'm hoping it's going to be thought provoking and, you know, a good starting point to, to establish that good self-care routine and also there will be a process video now that process video is not a tutorial it's not going to be a groundbreaking technique every time because it's a recording of my intuitive process how i work on a daily basis you are free to copy my steps from start to the end and up with exactly the same result but i really encourage you to try and venture a little bit and, and to add something to it make it a little bit more yours now let me give you some tips when it comes to intuitive art journaling intuitive art means focusing on what's happening right now in your art on your spread on your substrate right here right now it's about responding to what's happening at this very moment rather than planning and pushing forward trying to achieve a certain result it's extremely extremely important that you do not start with a result in mind that you start with just an action you know just doing something maybe you want to do exactly the same thing to start with as i do on my videos and then see where that takes you how you can respond how you can take that uh, mark or a blob of paint further what can you do with it not planning the end result is the most important part of intuitive art journaling it takes away the pressure uh, it takes away the expectations and it allows you to be in the moment and to have a non-judgmental uh, approach if at some point of this process you start feeling that it's not fun, it starts to feel hard, give it a thought. Is there a chance that you're trying to control a little bit too much? Is there a way in which you could let go of that control and expectations towards yourself and your artwork a little bit more? I believe our art journals are a reflection, intuitive art journals are a reflection of our relationship with ourselves. So if you are going to be kind to yourself, you're going to be kind to your journal pages, you're going to let them be. And that's going to make this whole process so much more enjoyable. So if you're starting to feel like a little bit too hard, just let go, just relax, okay? Step away and come back with a fresh mind and just have some fun. Do some messy stuff, do some ugly stuff. 
No one's gonna have to look at it, but just try and enjoy being in the moment and focusing on the process rather than how it's going to turn out. Okay, December is very special to me because this is the only offering that we do at Everything Art that allows me to share with you my intuitive, unplanned process. Now, when I create lessons for Wanderlust, even though I love doing it, they are different. They are very um, structured. There is a very uh, certain specific learning process. There are techniques that I need to cover. And, um, you know, the learning learning part is really important on Wanderlust. We are discovering and exploring styles and, and uh, supplies while on care december we're focusing on the whole or journaling from a slightly different point of view i use care december as a way for myself to practice uh, mindfulness and self-care through art so you'll see me doing weird things on these pages <laughs> the result is not always going to be pretty um, I'm going to be ripping pages out, I'm going to be covering things up and it will make no sense to you. Why would you cover it up? But you must always remind yourself that this is my intuitive process. That's what felt right at this point and that's what I wanted to do. That's what I felt uh, will make me feel good. <laughs> So um, it's obviously it's challenging to, to share that kind of process uh, with other people, to put it on uh, in public, right? But it also is uh, very freeing and cathartic to myself because here I am, a teacher with years of experience, with a style that I feel I've developed and worked on for many years. Here I am doing something that's not always pretty and that's not always... Um, you know, it's a not Instagrammable page sometimes. So I'm hoping that through this, I am showing you that it doesn't matter how many years of experience you are, you can always allow yourself to have that student kind of um, mindset, right? You are here to learn from your own process, to discover some things about yourself, and this makes me the practice. So if I can do it after so many years of learning and let go and do some crazy stuff, so can you. And it will feel good, I promise you, if you let go. It's a, it's a huge, huge uh, inspiring power to do this kind of art journaling for my own creative spirit. So I would love you to give it a try. Now, I feel, I know, I know, right? I don't feel, I know that 100% that this might feel slightly difficult to, to many of us because, you know, we are taught from very early age at school to do things for the result, right? So this is, this is unlearning that. This is being in the moment rather than being in the future straight away. Uh, one of the very important things of intuitive art journaling is allowing the pages to transform over time, allowing them to change. So no page is ever finished. I think one of the most um, difficult things about our lives is that we don't allow much space for ourselves to transform and change and we don't allow others to be in the process of transformation. Our journals can be a perfect place to practice this. So before you ask questions such as how do I know when my page is finished, should I add something or should I not, or maybe I overdone it, just forget it. You are always allowed to come back to each and every page and do a few more marks. Your page is finished when you're done painting for today and tomorrow it might not be finished maybe you'll go back to it so don't worry about it don't get hung up on that when is my page finished i for instance like to use some supplies like charcoal without fixing so i know they will smudge it's it's a bit to do with how much i enjoy the thought of everything in our life being impermanent um, I just see that as a reflection of, um, you know, this mindful approach, right? We are in a moment. We only care about what's happening right here, right now. We do not have to worry about the future in our, our journals. So, no page is ever finished. Let's repeat that. No page is ever finished. Care December is a free offering, but we do ask you to make a 
however small contribution to our fundraiser for action against hunger. Here's the thing, Christmas is coming, but not for everyone. And there are people who need our help. If you are in a privileged position that you do have some spare money, please donate to our fundraiser today. Uh, every donation is hugely, greatly appreciated. We're really grateful for every, every little contribution. And if you feel you can't this year, then that's fine. Please come and join this um, offering Care December uh, and we will make you feel loved. And I hope you will find some peace and some, uh, some comfort in your daily or journaling. And one last thing I'm going to ask you to do, please share the info about Care December with your friends and people. Bring your family, bring your family members with you to your computer when, when those prompts are um, common every day. Do some art together, get other people learn about our journaling because it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, force of inspiration that can feed our our hearts for a very, very long time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I cannot wait to share the first prompt with you. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. See you again soon.